uh, the role of alternatives in the negotiations, negotiated agreements. In addition to opening bids, uh, target points, and resisting points, the fourth factor may enter the negotiation is alternative outcome that can be obtained by competing at different deals with a uh, different party. In some negotiations, the parties have only two fundamental choices, to reach the deal with the other party or not to settle at all. In other negotiations, however, one or both parties may have a choice of competing an alternative deal. Thus, in this case, uh, or another house may, uh, may come to market. And when, uh, you know, similar houses uh, can be uh, purchased. Okay, hold a second. Uh, alternatives are <coughs> important because they give a negotiator uh, power to walk away from any negotiation when emerging deal is not well uh, uh, very good. The number of realistic alternatives negotiators may have will vary considerably from one situation to another. In negotiations where they have many uh, attractive alternatives, they can settle their goals uh, higher or make uh, fewer concessions. In negotiations where they have no alternatives, such as when they deal with a sole supplier, supplier they have much less bargaining power. Uh, good distributive uh, bargainers identify their realistic, their realistic alternatives before the beginning of negotiations with other party, so they can pr properly. Uh, gauge uh, how firm to be on their negotiations.